Five years ago, my two-year-old daughter Sophia's knee swelled to the size of a softball, and she could barely walk. After a battery of tests, her pediatrician was unable to diagnose her and placed us on a three-month wait list to see a specialist, a pediatric rheumatologist. Thanks to a last-minute cancellation, we got seen early. The specialist diagnosed Sophia with juvenile arthritis. Unlike adult arthritis, which is primarily wear and tear on joints, juvenile arthritis is a group of over 100 diseases where the immune system goes haywire and attacks a child's organs and tissues. Juvenile arthritis plagues over 300,000 children in the US. That's more kids than have diabetes, cystic fibrosis, and muscular dystrophy combined. And while those three diseases receive nearly half a billion dollars in private research funding, juvenile arthritis receives less than two million. I'm Laura Schultz. Two years ago, I founded Juvenile Arthritis Association with Dr. Andreas Reif, head of rheumatology at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. It's time to turn pediatric rheumatology from the poor stepchild of medicine into a field that attracts dollars and doctors. For hospitals, rheumatology has been all prescriptions, few procedures, a financial loser. With little funding to entice or train doctors, there are only about 200 pediatric rheumatologists in the entire country. This means thousands of children, like Sophia, facing permanent damage or even death while they wait to see a specialist. Our groundbreaking solution deploys pediatric rheumatologists to satellite clinics in communities with no doctors. By spreading overhead across more sites, fees from the satellite clinics translate to extra revenue for the hospital. This funds training of new specialists. They, in turn, treat more kids. To date, over 3,500 children have been diagnosed at these satellite clinics. Our model shows pediatric rheumatology can be profitable, attracting more dollars and doctors to the field, and it's replicable nationally. But here in LA, the doctors are spread thin, as is our organization. Our goal is to raise $400,000 this year to build broad public awareness, increase research dollars, and scale our pioneering program to create a pipeline of specialists and get kids off long wait lists. Right after Sophia's diagnosis, we learned her immune system was also attacking her eyes. If not for that last minute cancellation, she would likely have been blind. Ongoing chemo, steroids, and other powerful meds are saving Sophia's vision and keeping her out of a wheelchair. Too many kids are not so lucky. Your investment will transform the landscape of this disease and ensure every child gets the care they deserve. Thank you.